On Saturday, April 20th, 2019, the Yemen Cultural Institute presented a guerrilla-style artistic performance in Washington, D.C.'s Black Denali, with support from world-renowned artists and distinguished local artists, we introduced a unique audio-visual experience that allowed our community pause to reflect on Yemen's ongoing conflict. Kerim Wasfi, renowned Iraqi cellist and former maestro of the National Symphony Orchestra, improvised sounds on his cello for a transcendental experience. As the visionary founder of Peace Through Arts Foundation, he joined in fostering healing and cross-cultural integration. The walking crowds watched as the replica of War Brand was mounted on the wall. War Brand was an artistic piece initially displayed on a Zubaydi street in the city of Sana'a, created by Yemeni street artist Murad Subaya for a street campaign called Ruins. Murad, who dedicated the last eight years of his career campaigning against corruption, human suffering, and injustices in Yemen, was unable to attend. Currently, Yemeni citizens are banned from the United States. While Karim was performing, DC-based artists Marcella Kribel and Christopher Pegues mounted Subaya's piece in the background. Marcella, a muralist known for her food illustrations and cookbooks, inscribed the message to the walking crowds, while Chris stepped in to mark Murad's signature. The writing was finally on the wall. There was unity in our silence as we listened, and peace was amongst us. Yemen is still the site of the world's worst humanitarian crisis. Over 90,000 lives were claimed as a direct result of armed conflict, and more than three million people are internally displaced. As of today, there is no end in sight. I do, we do, uh, all of us do believe that uh, peace can be profitable. Uh, it's yet to be uh, for the politicians to actually be proactive in assuring that and acting uh, and act accordingly. I believe people connect all over the, the globe. It's, it's actually for those who are uh, the decision makers in some cases that are jeopardizing how much interdependence we can experience and how much um, peace can be and should be actually uh, recognized and identified. So basically, um, I thought I would share uh, some of what, what I do through uh, Peace Wars, my organization, and support Sama and her approach for Yemen that is proven to be um, a functioning and a, a functioning approach with tangible results. I think the message, I, I, I assure you, the message will reach, the message of peace and, and connectivity and perseverance against terror and killings, uh, the message of peace will reach um, a, a wider um, uh, uh, audience around the globe. And I call it audience because it's turning al almost into um, um, us and them. Thank you for being here, and we'll probably uh, uh, share more of, of uh, what sound and vibration and frequency can mean for all of us. It's a universal language that doesn't need to be explained because we all connect through sound and vibration and frequency. And then our color and creed and gender and everything else.